Fire Princess Reviews. I'm Fire Princess Lily here to talk to you about comics, cartoons, and other awesome nerd shits. So, what are we talking about today? Well, as promised in the last video, we're going to be talking about this. The previews book for the month of October. Now, if you've never seen this part of my channel before, I do this once a month where I talk about what's coming out two months from when this airs. Uh, because that's how the preview book works. So this is everything coming out in October. Things you should be excited for. Things you don't care about. Uh, but it's definitely got a bunch of stuff that I'm going to check out that I think you would like too. And so I want to suggest five titles to you that I'm checking out that you should check out. Or that I think you should check out. But let's get on with it with our honorable mention, which is really our number fifth. Five slot number fifth. Anyway, our fifth slot. Uh, it's called Sparrowhawk. It's from Boom Studios. Writer Delilah Dawson and artist Matthias Basala, which I'm probably pff, just butchered that, have come together to write a comic that's basically been described as Teen Victorian Fairy Fight Club. Uh, basically, a daughter to a naval eight, uh, shipmaster has been kidnapped by the Fairy Queen, and now it's up to her to save herself and also uh, the world that she doesn't particularly care for. And so it's got kind of a changeling feel to it. If you've ever played any of the World of Darkness games, you might not have. I have, because I'm a nerd. Um, I'm just that big a nerd, I should say. It sounds interesting. It sounds neat. Um, I'm not saying it's something that I've never heard of before, but it definitely, there's a reason it's kind of number five, is because while I'm excited for it, I'm not as excited as maybe I thought I would be for it more or less, when I compared it to the other titles on this list. So, but definitely check it out because it sounds really cool. The art looks fantastic, so get that. Number four, also from Boom Studios, is Adventure Time Season 11. Now, if you didn't know, you might not know, but we're going to do a big recap kind of episode next month because next month is going to be the end of the Adventure Time cartoon series. But if you're sad about that, you're going to continue in comics, so you're definitely going to get that order in. It's uh, the art is done by Sunny Lou. Nope, sorry, backwards. Writing is done by Sunny Lou and art by Marina Julia, who's done art for the Adventure Time series before. So if you've actually checked out the Adventure Time comics previously, you'll probably recognize the art. So that's kind of nice and cool. I like it. And basically, it's just going to pick up right where the show ends right after the great gumball war so that'll be neat be interesting i wish i could give you more to go on but that's basically all they give me to go on so i think it's gonna be kind of cool i think it's gonna be really neat so there is that this is gonna be kind of a quick episode because they don't give me a lot of information okay number three number three is <laughs> The 13th Doctor, Doctor Who, it's coming to comics. It's actually coming to comics the same month that it's coming to television, which is kind of interesting. I don't think they've actually done that before in Doctor Who comics. I could be totally wrong. Let me know in the comics if I'm totally off base with this. So what's going to happen in this comic series? It's going to be Doctor Who. It's like if you've ever read Doctor Who comics, they can't really tell you, oh, this is the kind of the stuff that's going to happen this, you know, in this series because... It's the Doctor, you kind of, they know, we don't. It's it's like the TV show, it's like a whole thing. There will be possible. they're not really giving us a lot other than it's coming out and it's going to be exciting. It's got a great team, uh, writer Jody Hauser, artist Rachel Stoat, and colorist Erinka Aguli. I messed those all up, so that's fine. I do that all the time, that's my bad. So, Agu Ilulini, Agu Ilulini. Sorry, I'm stuck on that. Um, but it does look really. The covers look great. The covers look cute. There are 13 different variant covers for the very first issue. So you know, pick which one you like best. I picked cover F because it just looks the neatest to me. Uh, cover D, B, and. I want to say H. Those are the ones I really liked, but I chose cover F. Uh, so th that's just my opinion. So I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you are too. I was going to put this at the number two spot. There's there's just not a lot to go on for me to do that. So here we are. Number 
And that's from Titan. Titan Comics does the Doctor Who comics. They've always done the Doctor Who comics. So there you go. Boom. Done. Whew. Number three is Sex Death Revolution, a comic from Black Mass Studios done by my favorite comic book writer of all time. I really love her. Magdalene Visaggio is like my favorite writer of all time in all of comics, so I tend to check out what she does anyway. Uh, why isn't she number one? Then we'll get to why she's not number one. But <laughs> that's, she definitely is number two, and that's not bad. You know, that's good. Uh, the, her artist is going to be Becca Furrow, and basically it's about a Manhattanite uh, witch named Esperanza who is still reeling from the fall of her coven, and so she's trying to pick the pieces back up, but people are saying about a bunch of stuff that didn't happen and basically that she's over. Meanwhile, she's becoming a person that she used to be, hasn't been for a long time, and I don't know if that means reincarnation, rebirth, or, you know, something like that. Seems really, really interesting. Basically, changes are happening because change is a part of life, and I'm very interested to see where that goes and how that shapes and what kind of story that's going to be. If it's one of those fighting against the inner darkness sort of kind of stories, I'm definitely for it. If it's fighting something, taking over her, that's still pretty neat, and I'm definitely down there for it. So, yeah, that's... Uh, that's number three. Once again, that's Sex Death Revolution from Black Mass Studios. It's going to be pretty cool. <sighs> Finally, um, as you know, if you've watched the series before, I don't like to talk about stuff coming out by the big two, Marvel and DC, um, unless it's I'm really super excited for it. Like, we talked about West Coast Avengers. Last month we talked about something else. Um... That actually might have been it. But every now and then I talk about something from Marvel. Because while I love DC, they never really kind of get me going. I did talk about Neil Gaiman's uh, Sandman universe, which is coming back, which I'm still, which I'm super excited for. So that's something from DC, but I don't talk about them as much. Anyway, that's not important. We're talking about Marvel. What's coming out October for Marvel? Well, if you watched the Spider-Gwen video, maybe you did, maybe you didn't. I don't know. Spider-Gwen's coming back. I know, she's only been gone for like a month or two. <laughs> and we're already bringing her back, and it's a new writing team, and a new it's a new team altogether. It's, um... I think, her, I think he pronounced it Shannon. It's Shannon McGuire is the writer. I love her on Twitter. She's great. One of my favorite Twitter people. And Rossi Campe is the artist, and basically it's picking up with Last One Left Off, Gwen is still fighting crime and supervillains in her universe, Earth 65. But this time, her Earth is going to be the center of a multi-universe conflict. It's like on the tip and precipice, and Gwen's got to solve the problem, which seems really massive for her and her character. But I think she can do it. There's a train. We're already in this portion. And we're wrapping up the video anyway. So... Spider-Gwen's coming back. It's called Spider-Gwen, a.k.a. Ghost Spider, which I guess is a nod to the Marvel Rising series. Train. They like to lay on that horn. Um, yeah. Which, that was a little interesting cartoon. I don't know if they're going to continue on with it. Maybe we'll talk about it a little. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Spider-Gwen, a.k.a. Ghost Spider. It's coming out this October. Looks really fun. Looks like it's keeping with the spirit of the comic in terms of art style. Uh, I can't say anything about the story yet. I'm just hoping it does. And that's it. That's everything. So what are we going to talk about next time? Maybe it's going to be that fabled Robocop video that I'm just, like, having trouble uh, recording. Maybe we talk about Adventure Time. Probably not. I'm kind of saving that for next month. But we're going to talk about something. It's going to be kind of neat. Uh, we might talk about How Not to Summon a Demon Lord, which is an anime that's come out recently. Which I kind of like, kind of don't like. I'm on the fence. Anyway, I'm Fire Princess Lily. This has been Fire Princess Reviews. And until next time, enjoy comics, enjoy cartoons. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!